Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW and you have a code P0013, guys, and you have an E46, this is the 3 Series from year 1998 to year 2006, guys. We'll show you how to fix that code, guys. We're going to show you guys how to diagnose it. We'll have the scanner parts that you need to replace all that listed in the description of the video for your convenience and in addition guys we will have more than 200 videos on this car on the channel why because our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can so let's go ahead and start on the problem now so this is guys the scanner that we'll be using okay uh, you can find it listed in the description of the video below you need to find your obd connection okay just plug it in and i'll go inside the vehicle okay and let me close the door so we don't have that annoying beep in here. And if I start the car guys, listen now, okay. It will sound normal, but the car might be lacking a little bit of power under certain circumstances. Also engine light will be, okay, will be on. Okay, you can see no matter what you do, that engine light will stay there all the time. So, how we fix that now? You turn the engine off, turn it back on, okay, just the ignition on, this is to the second position of the key. And with that computer now, guys, okay, we're going to diagnose the, the code. Now, this computer, guys, works on any car, not just BMW, and this is a very, very, okay, a very good computer. Let me just adjust it here so it doesn't fall, and I can show you perfect. You can, guys, okay, do with that computer, read the engine codes delete codes, also codes stored in the airbag system, brake system, traction control, you can register batteries, you can do actually here uh, you know, electronic parking brakes, you can see so many things that it supports just to name a few functions, so please check it out, it will be listed in the description of the video below and you can see where we buy ours from. I'll click OBD now, it's going to connect, it takes a little bit of time to establish communication with the vehicle, Make sure that you keep your ignition on, otherwise it's not going to connect. And usually it takes about, depending on the model guys, but somewhere from 5 to maybe 20-30 seconds to connect all the way. Okay, right now probably it's almost done because you can see this is the protocol that it selected that applies to this vehicle. And it's doing its magic now and it's going to give us, give us the code in just a minute. Okay, you can see codes found 1. We click OK, select Enter, and now we're going to read codes under, oh, I come back. Read codes right there, stored codes, and the code that we have now, guys, is P0013B, camshaft position actua actuator circuit open bank one. What is, okay. What does the B means? B means that this is on the exhaust camshaft. This is the vanos solenoid on the exhaust camshaft, the electrical solenoid. How we know that? A is for intake, B is for exhaust, because intake comes first, exhaust comes second. That's how, that's how it's known in the car business. So, you can see guys, that's what we have now. Uh, what we're going to do now guys, okay, we're going to turn the ignition off, okay, and we'll show you what needs to be replaced to fix that problem now. So looking at the vehicle this way now guys, okay I just removed that cover, you don't have to remove it, I just want to show a little bit better, this is your intake on this side, that's where the fuel injectors are, intake manifold, exhaust manifold is on this side and the oxygen sensors, so uh, now what we're looking for is something like this, okay identical to this one but it will be on this side, and where you see that thing guys, okay it's, okay let me get something to point at, okay it's that thing right there. This is your exhaust uh, vanos solenoid right there guys and this is the connector for it. How you remove it now? It's impossible for me to show you there guys uh, but in the past we've done it on spot without removing anything else. Other times we just remove the radiator fan so we got more room to work on. It's a little bit more convenient. We have the replacement video on both of them on the channel. So please check it out guys, we'll upload it very soon. In addition, I'll demonstrate on this one because it's way easy and I can show you with the detail. Okay, that connector right here, okay, the connector, you press that spring in, okay, and you pull it out. Check it out, okay, that's what you do, press in, pull it out. And this is guys, your vanus solenoid right here, this is for A, 
Okay, for intake camshaft position, uh, position actuator, this is B. The one that we need to replace is down there. But how you do it, it's like this one. You grab it with the wrench, get it loose, and it just comes off. There is one uh, O-ring here that, uh, that uh, makes sure that oil doesn't come out. Super simple, guys, if you want to check it out. We'll go ahead and replace ours, and we'll see if that takes care of the problem. Today's video is to see if this will take care of our problem. If not, guys, okay. Uh, if you want to see the replacement video, it is on the channel. Check it out. So that's what we'll be doing now. We'll go ahead, replace it, and we're going to go back in the vehicle and see if the problem will be healed. So we're going inside now. What I'll do, I'll turn the ignition back on. Now, let me go back and make sure that, okay, that this computer is still connected to the car because the ignition was off so we'll give it time just to reconnect quickly and uh, we'll go, go ahead and clear the coat erase the coat and see if the engine light will turn off okay the coat is there so we click back we click erase coats yes erase done so let me go ahead turn the ignition off Put the key back in, restart the car. Engine light is gone, guys. Definitely took care of our problem. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos. And see you guys next time.